I don't actually know. Is that a port? That's a marina. Uh, construction, railroad, material deposit. Yeah, so if you send a goods train... Wait a minute. One, two, three, four... I have trains. This is a passenger train. Where are my goods trains? Or do I not actually have goods trains? Hold on. I swear this is a... Is that my train or is that not my train? Can I... Like, there's a goods train moving around. I don't know whose it is. So you can't just click on them. Can I, like, just... One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, really? It's down here. Thirty-seven forty, and that's an express freight train. Okay, I see. So there's the freight train at the end. Ah, uh, no, no, stop, no, cancel. So, if you have a freight train, go to a freight. So you can't. So you need goods, materials. See these boxes? These white boxes. They're materials. So when there's materials, um, things can be built within 15 squares of it, uh, except for stations and things. So the city, I, th I believe, would develop by itself, but only if there's enough, like if there's materials within 15 squares. I don't know how big 15 squares is, and if this is a square or not. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 6, 15. So... Like this here would not develop, is that what it means? Because it's too far away? I don't even know. But then there's that, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 15. This seems a bit odd. So, but then, because it's all 15 squares, or within 15 squares, you kind of understand how far things can develop. So see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you see how the houses are here and then they're not, they're not, you know, they're not here. They're here because it's 15 squares. It's about that big. Oh, there's a farm. Interesting. Let me just get rid of that. There's a leisure farm. So you can see, yeah. So then you have to have materials for the city to develop. Factories will make materials. If you just have a train go off the edge of the map, it will bring back materials. Although you can't, you can only get to the edge of the map there. I don't remember if you need to have... Um, if you need to bring people in from the edge of the map too, you might. So you're gonna bring passengers in from the edge of the map. And the passenger trains make money if there are passengers, and then that's about it. So see, these, like this village here, and this little town here, they're not going to develop because there's no, there's no materials, basically. Ah, uh, what to do? What to do? I think the, uh, the simple, so it's like this station has three tracks for some reason. This station has two and they're both being used and these aren't, to be honest, these aren't very well designed, but I guess they're just examples to, uh, to show you what, what can happen. Um, and I don't, I can't find a port, <laughs> but you can build a port or something. Okay, so what should we do here? What I think I'll do is, I'll turn this into like a loop, and now I have like two more bits around here, and let's kind of build more tracks and build more stations, basically. Now, how do I add a track to this station? Like, if I go rail station, elevated station, number of platforms. I'm just going to keep things simple. So I don't know if you guys have played Transport Tycoon Deluxe. That's a pretty good game. Probably um, easier to understand than this. Can I just... Can I just, like, put it on top? Cannot work on a station that a train on. Alright, roll the trains out. Let me just move time and then stop. So I'm going to change this into like a three track station. Or do you think two tracks is enough? No, two tracks is enough. So I think what I'll do is I'll have one track 
with a freight train bringing in materials from the edge of the map. Actually, maybe I should have... Maybe the loop should go outside the map. No, actually, no, three. Okay, so... Hmm. No, two stations. No, two tracks is fine. I'll have a passenger train and a freight train going off the edge of the map. And then I'll have freight trains and passenger trains on the on the loop inside here. So then I'll, I'll kind of make a loop here. And we'll see how that goes. All right? All right, that's the plan. All right, so change that to two tracks. This is... Actually, maybe I, I want to bring the materials in from this edge, because there's only a... never mind, never mind. So I'm going to change that to two tracks, and then we're going to build a few stations, I guess. There's actually no road going from this side of the station to the other side. It's so strange, the way they've arranged that. Alright, so how should we do this? I think the way we should do this is... let's say... oops, don't do that. Let's say... I keep pressing the wrong button. Usually your right mouse button is pan, but this one is a rotate. Uh, let me put like a station there. And that's pretty close to that station, isn't it? A three station loop instead of a four station loop? Sure. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And this, let me just move the train a little bit more and stop that. Rail, flat track. Can I. Can I... Laying mode? Flat track? Can I not... How do I... How do I... How do I start laying tracks? I thought I'd just start clicking buttons and it works. Why am I not laying? Or do I need time? Nope, I don't need time. Ah, uh, what's going on? Removal? Laying mode? Or is it like on the wrong? On the no, that's not that's on the right level. Type of track straight. Oh, I have to I have to select the first way. Why did I? Why did I start there? Okay, there you go. Okay, what I want to do is remove. Remove those, and I want to lay that that that. Oh, come on! I'll remove that, and then lay that there. All right, good. So we're gonna switch that because the outside track I want to be the one that actually goes out of town because the inside track needs to come around this way. It's pretty automatic, isn't it? That's good. Let me just let it do it automatically. I wonder how good the automatic is. If I just do this... Well, it doesn't doesn't do it that well. Actually, this not doesn't do it that well at all. Uh, let me... Yeah, curious. Alright, we're gonna do this. There, and then we're gonna do... It doesn't seem to like diagonals very much, to be honest. Alright, so now we have like a track going around there, right? And... great. And then we're gonna have a, like a track going out to the edge... to the edge of the map. Or it just you know disappears into space, into um, apparently it's just white space. All right, this disappears into white space, and we're gonna let it run. So now we have a passenger train. What kind of train is this? Which one is this one? 
they are three. Hmm. Can I like get more details on this train? Can I like how do I let me just pause? What do I remove? Yes. I can place the train or I can sell it. I don't know what's going on. Alright, let's just place the train. Reverse. Which way should it go? Let's make this uh, clockwise and let's let it run for a bit. Sure. Uh, we're going to buy train. Ooh, look at all this stuff. So we got freight. Does it say speed? Cruising speed 59, cruising speed 117. Uh, is there a good transport in real multiple motors, back up? Alright, cool. Train configuration 5, maximum cargo 8. Oh, I see. So this thing's like a lot more expensive. But that's alright, we got, we got money coming in like you wouldn't believe. U shape underground. Exclusively for underground use. Cool. And you got like uh, bullet trains and maglevs and all that kind of stuff here as well. Crazy. So let's go for the expensive stuff. Train configuration 7? Seven? 7 seems... Oh wait a minute, before we do that, I should build... I should build... Um, uh, not materials factory, I should build... Materials Depot. That's what I should build. Um, hmm. What's it doing now? It's doing clock. <coughs> it's doing clockwise. All right, that's probably good. Uh, oh crap! Did I just click that? I didn't mean to do that. How do I undo? Wow, that's brutal. It just does it. Wow. Wow, no No mercy. Alright, so where should I put this? Fifteen squares. Like I'm not very good at judging the fifteen square thing. So there's already a city there. And uh, you know, oops, I just put a bunch of stuff in the wrong place. What? I didn't I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Alright, let's put this I just put these things like um on the on that side of the station. And then let's put this thing like, you know, on this side of the station. And then let's put this thing on like the side of the station. Okay. Alright, so now we go to train. I'm curious to find that I can't actually see more details. AR3, train of configuration 3. Well, I'll, I'll figure that out. Right, buy train. We are going to buy express train with all the carriages. Uh, change sort style, never mind. Confirm sale. I'm going to place that train, right, ah, 7 is too long for the station, that's interesting, that's interesting to know, sell train, just wasting money, <laughs> buy train, let's, let's stick with 5, confirm sale, that there, alright, good, and it should sort itself out. And then AR3 AR3 100 kilometers an hour. Alright, so now we need to buy another freight train. Cruising speed. AR3 cruising speed 100. 100. 117, 104. Alright, cruising speed 100. Let's just go for the ex express. Sure. Confirm sale. We'll put that on this track, going this way. Awesome. 
And uh, let's just see what happens. Let the time run. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Wrong button. I need to get used to the controls. Alright, so the train leaves the map. So now it's like gonna, and then it comes back with materials. And then this other train brings the materials to there, drops it there, and then the train keeps going around. See now, the freight train is slightly faster than the passenger train. Alright, so then that, that puts it there. And then it drops the materials there. See, I don't know if the city will just start developing itself or not. I'm hoping it does. But... Oh, wait a minute. Something just disappeared. So some materials just disappeared, and I don't know where it went, to be honest. But I'm guessing the city is developing? 